good day viewers you are welcome to today's masters so look at this nice avowed university exam question let's find for the value of a so we are solving for the value of a let's get started now firstly let's factor out a a is common in, in both so we have a factorial is equals to a so open bracket we have a squared a in a raised to power 3 is going to give us a squared and here we have minus 1 now we can use the formula for difference of two square here so we have a raised to the power of 2 minus 1 don't forget 1 is same thing as 1 raised to the power of 2 so using the formula for difference of two square where you have a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2 is equal to a minus b into bracket a plus b so here now we have a factorial is equal to a into bracket a minus 1 another bracket again a plus 1 so now don't forget this is a factorial and we said when you have n factorial we can still repeat it as saying n times n minus 1 factorial and so on so let's repeat this by saying a multiplied by a minus 1 factorial is equals to a open bracket a minus 1 bracket a plus one so this cancel out mistake this cancel out this we have a minus one factorial is equal to sorry there's a mistake here so we have a minus one into bracket a plus one so guys we are solving for that. Let a minus one equals k. So therefore, if a minus one is equal to k, a plus one will be a minus one by adding two to both sides plus two, and also here plus two. Therefore, this is going to give us a plus one, which is equal to k plus 2 so a plus 1 is equal to k plus 2 when a minus 1 is equal to k now substitute this if here we have k factorial is equals to k multiplied by k plus 2 we have k factorial is equals to k squared plus 2k even instead of opening the bracket here you can still simplify this further by saying don't forget the term we use there when you have n factorial is equal to this you can just say that k factorial is equal to k multiplied by k minus 1 factorial which is equal to k Open bracket k plus 2, therefore k cancel out k. So don't forget, I, I went back to this. Now we have k minus 1 factorial is equal to k plus 2. So what do we do now? You'll be, we are going to be using trial method. How are we going to use this? We just think for a number, substitute it into this, and when these two sides are equal, therefore, that's our value. Let's start with 4. Starting with 4. When k is equal to 4, we have 4 minus 1 factorial is equal to 4 plus 2. So here now we have 3 factorial is equals to 6 so 3 factorial is equals to 3 times 2 times 1 
which is equal to 6 3 times 2 times 1 which is also equal to 6 therefore 4 is is a solution since when we substitute 4 into this into the two sides it gives us a balanced number the two sides are equal to each other therefore 4 is a solution and now going back to the question we said a minus 1 is equal to k and k here now is equal to 4 since 4 4 4 4 works for both sides so we have a minus 1 is equal to k and we have a minus 1 is equal to 4 therefore a is equal to 4 plus 1 so a is equal to 5 now going back we said a is equal to 5 as we've gotten it so let's test our answer when you put 5 here 5 factorial are going to have 5 factorial is equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 5. So we said 5 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 1, 2, 5 minus 5, which is equal to 120. And 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 5 times 4, 20, 20 times 3, 60, 60 times 2, 120. Therefore, we are correct. A is definitely equals to 5. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Love you.